pre-workout nutrition. <laughs> All right, good morning, guys. The time is currently quarter to seven in the morning. We just woke up, going to Pure Gym because it's the only gym open this early on a Saturday to get the 30 minutes fast cardio in before my last carb up before show day. Now, this isn't a cheat meal day. This is a carb, it's a refeed day, but it's like none I've ever experienced. So I'm excited to show you guys. Hope you enjoy this refeed slash epic food day. It's gonna be sick. Hope you enjoy. All right, dude. Cool, Have a good one. Honestly, it was not the plan to wake up this early. I just couldn't sleep, like, insomnia levels right now are seriously real. I think I've had like four hours, went to bed at two, and it's six. And I'm just like, you know what? My boy Phil is at the gym. He texts me, he was like, dude, come and do some fasted cardio and a little bit of calves. So, I'm gonna join him. Where is he at, where is he at? What are we doing with our lives, dude? How's it going, man? Sorry. Sick, man, what are you doing? Well, I've got to come here, aren't we? Because the lead doesn't open until 8.30 at the weekend. You know what, there's no way I can be awake for two and a half hours, then go and do cardio for half an hour, then go shopping, and then have a refeed. Like, I'm hungry now. We've got 30 minutes incline walking on its steepest incline. Then we're gonna do some calves, maybe some posing. Yeah, man. And then head to the shops to get the food that we need for today's refeed. And it's gonna be a good day. Do a few press ups, get like a little bit of a pump, and then we'll be good for pictures. And you need pictures, man. You need decent pictures to like document your progress. All right, then, guys, so we just got back from the gym, ended up going through a few sets on carb raises with Phil. Then he kindly took me to Morrison. We ended up picking up all the goods for the day. This is everything that I ended up picking up. We just got back and packed all the food, went upstairs, had a shower and did a morning weighing this. This is what I was weighing this morning. It's really, really interesting and actually justifies why we're having a refeed. I think I just weighed myself. I'm currently weighing at 204. 0.8 pound which is the lowest weighing of this prep so far which is kind of the reason we are doing this refeed considering i'm feeling kind of flat like my arms honestly are feeling kind of stringy and my midsection is like slowly tightening up but i'm feeling stringy and this is not what you want through yourself on the show you want to be feeling like this two weeks and one week out so we have a one day maybe possibly two day refeed so tomorrow is also going to be a good day too but i'm going to document today for you guys to show you what my refeeds are looking like now let's Let's make some breakfast. So guys, that is what I'm weighing at. The lowest weighing of this prep so far. So today is gonna to be that much more enjoyable knowing that I'm on track and that everything I'm gonna to do today, the unholy activities that will take place are gonna be justified. This is what we just picked up to recap. We got some frosties. We got some crunchy nut, but that's not actually for me. We have some blueberries, some strawberries. This will be the mixed berry like concoction that I'll have. We got some jasmine rice, some white onion. Red onion has a lot more carbs in it. So we're doing white onion for today. I'm gonna chop up some mushrooms to have a stir fry with some of the chicken and rice that I'll be having, maybe some asparagus as well. And then finally, we have some obviously caramel rice cakes because it's, it's a high carb day, so fuck salted. Obviously, I will be consuming a lot more different foods throughout the day, so smash a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far and you're excited for this carb up uh, full day of eating. I don't know what I'm going to call this the most epic high carb full day of eating. If you're excited, smash the like. Let's get started. And that is breakfast. Holy shit, let me break it down for you. All right, so first off, we have 200 milliliters of egg whites with some sugar-free ketchup. And then we have a bowl of 75 grams of oats, handful of strawberries, handful of blueberries, a couple drops of this My Protein Stevia drops. We have one tablespoon of honey and two crushed caramel rice cakes. This. <laughs> this is meal number one. All of the macros of today's meals are gonna be listed on the screen, every single meal. And then at the very end, we'll do a macro recap to show you guys the total macros of today. I'm 
gut feeling, the carbs are going to be quite high. So right now, I'm going to sit down and enjoy, oh my God, enjoy breakfast. I'm actually using a small spoon to make it seem like there's more food, even though we have so much today. It's like a little tactic, but uh, I'm ready for this. Mm. Oh my God, look at that goodness. I don't even know what to say. The fruit, the crunchiness from the rice cakes, the creaminess from the oats. This is heaven, this is like, this is another level. <laughs> you know what the best thing is too? I get three of these today, whenever I want. Mm. All right, so that didn't take very long. We have the eggs. I haven't been allowed sugar-free ketchup on my eggs for the longest time, so even something as simple as this. Mm. It's really good, so. Mm. Oh. Now let's get a haircut. Utilizing the productivity levels of today, obviously I've got a lot more energy today than I would typically have on an average low carb day. So just went to Slicing It Barbers in Redditch to get a fresh trim. It's a skin fade. I'm feeling rather cold. I'm bold on the side of my head. I'm not gonna have to get it cut for another few weeks, so it's all good. And we are back in the kitchen. It's been about two and a half hours since my last meal. So we're gonna get into the second meal of the day. But really quickly before we do get into the next meal, I've been getting a lot of questions recently about will I be bringing out any more merch because the last piece of merch that I dropped was these t-shirts, the Harbody t-shirts, which literally sold out within a week's time, which was so insane. So yes, I will be releasing some more merch around October time, which is around the 13th of October, my second show day. I'm in contact with the supplier. We're working on samples right now, trying to get them perfect for you guys. It's costing me a lot of money and I'm probably not gonna make a big return back on the new merch drop because of the detail that I'm trying to put into these new items. Hopefully you guys enjoy them, so keep an eye out for that. But with that being said, we're gonna start getting into the next meal. These are the ingredients we're gonna be using today. We've got chicken breast, we've got basmati rice, we've got asparagus, some mushrooms, and also my daily dose of zero calorie monster. Chose to go with the purple one today. I'm always having the white. So why not switch things up today on the high carb day? We're gonna cook the food. This is what we're doing with it. And the meal is complete. The macros of this meal are gonna be on the screen right here. What I like to do with this meal though, is I like to chop the chicken up into small little chunks as well as the asparagus, and then mix it all together into like some sort of a stir fry. You can do this in the pan, but obviously I like to cook my chicken in bulk so I can distribute it evenly throughout different meals. You can do that, you can stir fry it in the saucepan straight away, but I like to weigh it all out and do what I've done right here. I'm about to mix it up right now, and then tuck in. Here we have it guys, meal number two of the day, and this looks Tasty. You can add sauce to this meal as well. I've added a little bit of sugar-free ketchup as well, just the same as the last meal. Get a bit of everything on there. All right, here we have it. The first bite. Do you want to try it first? This shit is all mine. The mushroom and the onion and just like the amount of rice that I'm allowed with this meal. It just makes it so good. Having a couple different flavors in your meals just to help keep things interesting can make all the difference. Obviously, there's a few extra carbs in this meal from the mushroom and the onion, but if it helps you get through your meals, you can compensate by taking something else out of your diet so you're still consuming the same carbs throughout the day. But um, yeah. This is a good meal number two. Pre-workout, nutrition. <laughs> I think guys, so yes, this is gonna be our pre-workout snack today. We're gonna utilize these carbs and train the only thing that would be justifiable on a day like this, which is arm day. Biceps, triceps, and forearms. I would train legs, because that's obviously the most optimal thing to train, but I trained legs yesterday, so I can't train legs. So next thing, that's the most important thing on the body, is arms. So we're gonna demolish this right now. The macros will be on the screen right here. It's the same meal as earlier, just without the eggs. With that being said, I'm gonna demolish this, and then get ready for the gym. <laughs>
Alright guys, so we just got to the gym and yes, we are at pure gym again, but you know what? I'm not actually that mad about it because you can have a pretty decent arm workout no matter what gym you go to. Obviously, Elite is the OG because the, the vibe is different. You just feel like you're going to have a great workout here, but when you get the headphones on, get straight into the arm session. If Elite didn't shut at 6 o'clock on a Saturday, I would have only had an hour to train and I have to do 30 minute cardio on the Stairmaster after the workout, so it would have shut early. So we're here, probably going to start on straight bar barbell curls, but first we're going to warm up and then get into it. First exercise is down, barbell curls are finished, we ended up doing five sets in total now. We're gonna move on to some single dumbbell score crushes. <laughs> for biceps is one of my favorites. It's the machine, or is it fucking, oh, what is it? it's not the pec deck. Oh, what is it? Machine preacher. I got prep brain. I don't know how much weight to do. Fuck, you, you never know how much weight to do. Exercise number two for triceps is gonna be one of my personal favorites. Definitely for shaping the triceps, and you don't have to go heavy to like get a full contraction on this. Chest out, elbows, about like a 45 degree angle. Boom. We are back from the gym, about to get into the post-workout meal, but before we do that, had such a good arm workout. Destroyed the 30 minutes on the Stairmaster. Now, obviously we're getting closer to the show and the Stairmaster is the form of cardio that makes me personally sweat the most. But before, I was kind of making excuses for myself doing 15 minutes on the Stairmaster, 15 minute incline walking, because the incline walking was just that little bit much easier, but not anymore. Stairmaster every single day. And if I want to do extra cardio, then I'll do the incline treadmill. With that being said, we're about to get into the post-workout meal. I'm going to make it. And then I'll explain what we've got. And there we have it people, post-workout goodness. Just finished making the post-workout meal. I've had to put it in a bowl because it's actually quite a lot of food. It wouldn't have fit on one of the plates, but we have 250 grams of jasmine rice, 180 grams of chicken breast. My protein has been dropped today because my carbs have been increased so much because we're trying to like not have the calories too high, so we have to have to sacrifice protein for carbs, vice versa. This is what the meal looks like, juicy as fuck. There's a little bit of soy sauce in there as well, and the vegetables were seasoned with Himalayan sea salt. This is the part that makes no sense. This is post-workout meal one. But then I've got cereal. Like, he wants me having 100 grams of Frosty Flakes, Frosties, Crunchy Nut Corn Flakes, whatever you want to call it, and then 150 milliliters of unsweetened almond milk. Now, personally, I'm not complaining. I like cereal, especially after the workout, but it just seems like a lot. This is my second bowl of cereal today, and then I have another one before bed. He's making me have three bowls of 100 grams of cereal, 300 grams of cereal in one day. I don't even have that when I'm not cutting, but I'm not complaining because he just wants me to eat sugar. 
and I love him for it. Oh, look at that milk. 180 milliliters. I'm gonna enjoy this right now. I know this is the same milk that I had before, but I've put some soy sauce in it and like cooked it a little bit differently. So the chicken and the rice were cooked in the pan instead of the microwave, which is different to the way I did it before. And then obviously, I never had chicken and cereal before, so it's gonna be pretty interesting. There's a reason he's doing this. So I can like be so high on so many carbs and then just like plummet down and my body is gonna be in so much shock. It's gonna be mentally hard. I'm gonna feel really weak because I would have never been on such low carbs before except last year when I competed. Placed second in my show last year, but this year I feel like I'm a week ahead of schedule. I'm happier, I'm 14 pound heavier and I'm excited. So here we have it, the second meal. This is actually so much food, like holding the bowl, although the bowl's glass and the bowl's obviously heavy, the food, it, it just, you can feel the density. All right then guys, we are just in the bedroom, about to tuck into the next meal of today. We have five caramel rice cakes, lightly coated with a layer of a little bit of jam. I said to my coach, am I allowed a little bit of jam? Cause you know rice cakes, they're a little bit dry, even though it's caramel and tastes pretty good. He let me have a little bit of jam. So the macros of this meal will be on the screen right here. I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm currently working. I'm playing a bit of Xbox. I'm just trying to pass the time between these meals because I'm eating a substantial amount more than I have been eating. And it's actually really hard to get these meals in. It's currently eight o'clock and I have two more meals left to eat. One two hours after this and then another one two hours after that which is going to bring us to around midnight so i'm just keeping myself distracted and busy in between these i might go on a walk at some point tonight to get extra steps in and to burn off some of these unneeded calories and then i'll see you guys again at the next meal I'm not gonna be bothered if I don't see Frosties again for another month because I've eaten three bowls today and it's getting a little bit sickly. I did actually as well have a meal prior to this after the rice cakes, but I didn't wanna record it because it was the same. Chicken, rice, mushroom, onion, asparagus. It was the same meal again, so I didn't wanna make this video tedious. Final macros of today are gonna be listed on the screen right now. I've got a feeling there's gonna be a lot of carbs. With that being said, that is it for the ultra high carb full day of eating. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm yet to see my diet. My coach is sending me in the morning. So with that being said, I need to get have to sleep, get a sufficient amount of rest, and then start the day early tomorrow with morning cardio and zero carb. I've got a feeling it's gonna be. So with that being said, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. If you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button. If you haven't already, join the Don's Club. Thank you, Jerry Brad, for dropping some love on my last Instagram picture. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.